On 6 February 1819, Singapore's fate was forever changed. A treaty was signed that day by three men, Stamford Raffles, Sultan Hussein and Temenggong Abdul Rahman. Just nine days earlier, on 28th January, the British had arrived in Singapore, just off St. John's Island. They had come to the end of their search for a location for a trading post, hoping to break the Dutch stranglehold over trade in the region. As Raffles once wrote, the Dutch possess the only passes through which ships must sail, and the British have now not an inch of ground to stand upon. The hunt for a foothold had taken the British to various places, including the Karimun Islands. It was Captain Daniel Ross who suggested a promising site at the mouth of the Singapore River. When they arrived, they found no Dutch presence on the island. Relieved, they decided to establish a trading base here. Sultan Hussein, a crown prince of the Johor Riau Linga Sultanate, was embroiled in a succession struggle with his half-brother, Sultan Abdul Rahman. At the time, Singapore was part of the Sultanate. The Temenggong Abdul Rahman was Sultan Hussein's brother-in-law and firm supporter in the struggle. Contrary to prior agreement with the Dutch, Sultan Hussein and the Temenggong agreed to allow the British to set up a trading post on a small strip of land, calculated as the distance of a cannon shot at the mouth of the Singapore River. Sultan Hussein was paid an annual sum of 5,000 Spanish dollars and the Temenggong, 3,000. The protagonists could not have known it then, but this agreement set Singapore on a vastly different trajectory for the next 200 years.